1941, George Beadle and Edward Tatum, through experiments on the red bread mold, Neurospora crassa, show that each gene encodes one enzyme which acts by regulating distinct chemical events. Their experiments prove the Sir Archibald Garrett's 1902 theory that hereditary diseases are inborn errors of metabolism, which are missing or having false steps in the body's chemical pathways. For most of its life cycle, Neurospora is a haploid organism, which means that there is only one copy of each gene. So they didn't worry about dominant and recessive alleles as Mendel had. In the lab, Neurospora grows well on minimal agar that contains only a few simple sugars in organic salts and the vitamin biotin. Neurospora have enzymes that convert these simple substances into the amino acids and vitamins necessary for growth. Beetle and Tatum reason that if they mutate any one of the genes that make an enzyme, for example, gene A, they should get a Neurospora strain that cannot grow on minimal medium. The mutant would be able to grow if enzyme product is added as a supplement. Both set out to find these nutritional mutants. In 1927, Herman Muller showed that X-rays cause mutations in genes. So, they irradiated a Neurospora culture with X-rays. They expected to get some rare mutants that would not grow on minimal medium. The grew the offspring of the irradiated Neurospora on complete medium that contained all the vitamins and amino acids. Next, the test of the ability of each of these cultures to grow on minimal medium. Most of these cultures grew on minimal medium, meaning they didn't have a genetic mutation of the kind they were looking for. However, the 299th culture did not grow on minimal medium. They then tried growing culture 299 on minimal medium supplemented with either amino acids or vitamins. They found that culture 299 did not grow on minimal medium with amino acid supplements, but did grow on minimal medium with vitamin supplements. Therefore, culture 299 must not be able to make one of the vitamins. They then had to figure which vitamin was missing in culture 299. They did this by testing culture 299's ability to grow on minimal medium supplemented with single vitamins. They found that culture 299 grew only if they provided the vitamin B6. It was their first neurospora mutant. It could not make vitamin B6 on its own because one of the enzymes in B6 synthesis pathway must be affected. Thus, the gene making this enzyme must have been mutated by X-rays. By adding vitamin B6 as a supplement to the minimal medium, the mutation could be compensated for and culture 299 could grow. Using this method of selection and supplementation, they isolated many different types of neurospora mutants. Genetic mutation affect metabolic pathways, and they confirmed the synthesis pathway for many vitamins and amino acids. The amino acid arginine is synthesized in a stepwise process catalyzed by enzymes. A precursor molecule is converted into ornithine, the citrulline, and finally arginine. If one gene makes an enzyme, there should be a genetic mutation for each step of the synthesis pathways. Among the arginine mutants, there should be strains that need either ornithine or citrulline or arginine as supplements. In 1944, their colleagues, Adrian SRB and Norman Horowitz, found these mutant strains. They started with Neurospora strains that needed arginine as a supplement. These strains had mutations in different genes. Mutant 1 couldn't make ornithine. So, the gene that makes the enzyme for ornithine synthesis must have been mutated. If ornithine is added to the media, citrulline and then arginine would be made and mutant 1 could grow. Similarly, a genetic mutation in mutant 2 affected the enzyme that makes the arginine precursor citrulline. Adding citrulline as a supplement complemented the mutation and drove arginine synthesis to completion. And a genetic mutation in mutant 3 affected the final step of arginine synthesis, the conversion of citrulline to arginine. By adding arginine as a supplement, the mutation was complemented and mutant 3 could grow. With each mutated gene, only one step of the metabolic pathway is affected. Therefore, one gene is responsible for one enzyme or protein. 
They had biochemical proof of Sir Archibald Garrett's 1908 proposal of the inborn errors of metabolism, who proposed that a gene mutation causes a specific defect in the biochemical pathways. Beetle and Tatum reasoned that each mutation must inactivate the enzyme, protein, needed to synthesize the nutrient. One gene carries the directions for making one protein, 